lovers, welcome back to my channel, Gem Talk with Sarah Brittany. Me, of course. Um, today I am actually going to be doing a educational video, and I haven't done one forever, and it's going to be on turquoise. And I just want to show you a little piece of turquoise that I have. This is a Native American piece signed. I don't remember the sign, the signatures in the back. Um, I bought this in Arizona at an old pawn shop. It's actually a pin pendant. I'm not exactly sure what turquoise it is, but it's really like, it's really clean. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a pin pendant, and I actually really never wear it, but I just wanted to show you that's the piece of turquoise. I have a couple of other pieces, but um, I just haven't had time to take them out. So, turquoise. Turquoise is everywhere right now, especially if you watch the... Um, the uh, Shop HQ, HSN, QVC, it's all about turquoise right now, and that is because the Sleeping Beauty mine has been closed. And I will get back, I will get to that towards the end of the video. But at first, um, first I want to talk to you a little bit, a bit, ugh, I'm so tongue tied right now. A little bit about like the historical background, the more informative part of turquoise. I try to give you as much as I can. I know there's a bunch of information about stones and stuff, but I try to bring you what I think would be informative and what I think you guys would benefit from. So here we go. So I write my notes down. So if I like do this with my eyes, it's because I have my notes and I'm going to forget because I can't remember everything. So turquoise is ancient, yet again and again it always finds itself back into fashion. Its shining sky blue or green color is one of the most popular color and trends and in the world of jewelry and fashion. So turquoise was one of the first gemstones to be mined um, dating from about 5000 BCE so it's really really old of course. Um, it's most valued in Persia and Native American cultures and civilizations and not as much others I don't know, they just love their turquoise. It's known as a holy stone and a bringer of good fortune. It's believed that turquoise protects you against the evil eye. And what the evil eye is, it's like when someone looks at you and it's, um, to, it looks at you like with harm, misfortune, greed, or lust, or whatever. They just look at you in a negative way. The evil eye is said to believe to protect you from that. And then they say that turquoise especially um, Sleeping Beauty and whatnot, um, is to believe that it's supposed to protect you from the evil eye. And, on that so that's all. Um, the Aztecs used it to decorate it in their ceremonial masks with it, um, which made the mask holy. Indians believed it opened up a connection between the sky and the sea, protecting against the power of darkness. Um, it's a six on the most scale. So it's relatively soft, and there's it's always subjected to some kind of um, treatment because of its softness and its porosity. If you um, leave it out for too long, sometimes in the sun, or you have a lot of oils or cosmetics, sometimes if it can change the color and just the outlook of the stone, which is why they used it as a. Um, they always use a some kind of treatment and they use like wax treatment, stabilization, like waxes and oils are the most commonly used um, out of them. Um, many mines actually are being depleted because of the, I mean they just can't find good quality turquoise. As a result, what they do now is they dye turquoise or it's called reconstituted turquoise. What it is, it's probably like the most unnatural process. It's the most cheap version of turquoise. Like, I wouldn't even waste my time if something says reconstituted. It's where they take the stones that are too small and they're like little chips and whatnot and they powder them and they like crush them up and they powder them and they mix them into like an agent and they pour it into a mold and then they dye it. So it's turquoise but it's like the tiny little crappy little chips they powder it up and then they put like plastic resin or some kind of um, substitute in there and they powder it and then they dye it to make it look just like the real deal like um like a more expensive kind of piece of uh, turquoise but I would totally not ever ever recommend that you ever buy reconstituted turquoise there's another one called block turquoise and if you ever hear that 
um, it says that it contains absolutely no turquoise as at all, but it's um, sold as reconstituted. So I looked it up and I thought block turquoise was like turquoise, like there was something, it was like reconstituted but not. Um, but I guess block, they said block turquoise contains no turquoise whatsoever, but sold as reconstituted. So it's like a, uh, they're just trying to fool you, the, the fool the buyers. And that's what they do a lot of the times. They say, oh yeah, it's turquoise, it's turquoise. You can buy it, buy it. And then they say it's reconstituted. People are like, okay, but they don't really know what reconstituted means. That's why I want to give you guys the information on it, on turquoise. So when you go and you purchase turquoise, make sure it doesn't say reconstituted. It's not block, so I just want you guys to know that. Um, the best quality turquoise is the Super Sky Blue Turquoise. The turquoise that almost looks fake, and it just looks like um, a robin. They use robin's egg blue a lot as a term. Um, let's see. Persian Turquoise or Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is the most prized turquoise out of all of the turquoise stones. Different um, versions of turquoise. Um... Turquoise, actually, the reason why turquoise is green or blue is it, it's because um, the color of ranges, of course. Um, the um, amount of copper that is present in the soil, that's what gives turquoise its bluish or its green color. And it's found in many places, but it's found where it's a high concentration of copper in its soil, and that's why. Um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, since the mines are closed, they actually mined copper out of the um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine. Like, there's copper mines around there, which is why Sleeping Beauty turquoise is that robin's egg, super clear blue. There are, there's no, like, there, um, what's it called? There's no, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even get the word out. There's no, uh, like, striations in it. There's no lines of brown, or it's just clean and clear, and it looks fake. Um, since the Sleeping Beauty mine is closed, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, I went to Macy's with my grandma, and they, um, had what we thought was Sleeping Beauty, and we're like, oh, that is really nice, and it was on the clearance section. So like, oh, let's look at it, and I look at it, and it looks like Sleeping Beauty, but what they did is they took a pearl, and they dyed the pearl to look like Sleeping Beauty. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's when you know, like, the mines really, like, the mines are closed and it's, like, legit. And I also know because my grandma, um, she sells Native American pieces and they actually go to Utah and they buy jewelry from the Native American vendors and the jewelry, the jewelry designers. And they also said to me that, yes, the mines are closed. It is true. So if you don't think that it was, it really is. But yeah, um, I've been seeing a lot of fake looking tur um, not turquoise, but Sleeping Beauty around. And you also have noticed, I also noticed that it is all over, like, HSN. It's all over QVC. It's all over ShopQ. They're like, get your turquoise, get your Sleeping Beauty turquoise while you can, and blah, blah, blah. But I do recommend that if you're a gemstone lover, that it is a good gemstone to invest in at the time right now. Because it might be a little more expensive right now because they know the mines are closed. So they're going to take advantage. But I really, I've seen the prices of it, and it's not too bad now. And I think get your Sleeping Beauty turquoise while you can, because I really think that it would be a good investment. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't, but the mines are closed, and I just highly recommend that you at least buy yourself one piece of nice Sleeping Beauty while you can before it gets, like, crazy expensive. But I also believe, they say the mine is closed, right? My theory is that I think they're closing the mine right now and then the price of Sleeping Beauty skyrocketing and all that and it's great for businesses and great for marketing saying that it's closed because it really is. I think that in due time they are going to reopen that mine eventually. I think that. I know they're saying, oh, we're not going to open it, whatever. I think they're going to reopen the mine. Sleeping Beauty is going to be cheaper again and they're just, it's all a marketing hype that, oh, it's closed so we're going to skyrocket the price. I think it's going to open again, but that's just me. You might have a different um, outlook on it. But, do I have anything else to talk about? Um, there are actually mines in China that are being closed that I um, read about. 
But the Sleeping Beauty was most popular because of its beautiful robin's egg blue color. Um, do, 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 do. That's everything that I can think of. But that is, um, that's what I have on Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I hope you guys take in my information, soak it in, go buy yourself some great, beautiful Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Um, and I will be back with a video soon. I'm going to be doing, I need to do what's in my jewelry box with my necklaces. But anyways, that's another video. Thank you for watching. And remember, do not. I, can't, I always forget this. Don't ever let anybody dull your sparkle. Be who you are. Be fabulous. Be whatever you want to be. Because I do that every day. And I do not care. But thank you for watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.